Hello friends and once again welcome to BISBSolution.com My name is Amit and today we are going to see another interesting example of advanced business rule writing Today we are going to do another example of trends So I'll take current month actual value and I populate the same number to my next year plan and this we apply using a trend function So before I show you how to write a rule I show you the output so that it will help you to understand what exactly we are trying to achieve well, so for the sake of simplicity, I create a smart view with three tab, one for input, one for trend, one for output, right? So input trend, I'm going to input or this value coming from my source system, current year actual, and this is my current month. My assumption is my current month is June. And I declare a variable over here, couple of variable go current month, current year, which I'm going to show it to you. Okay. So I'll be inputting number over here, and this current year, current month actual, this value gets copied to my next year plan. Next year plan for a calculated. Calculated and load are two members from my plan element, right? And here I define the trend. So I have an option to define a trend over here, a different trend value. In this example, we're using the trend value called current period actual. Current period which is FY21 for the month of June. This current period actual gets copied to my next year plan. And on top of this, I can perform an adjustment, increase and decrease, increase of my plan. This I'm going to show you in the next step of the same code. So for the sake of testing, let's, you know, I'm going to change some number. I put 220 over here, submit this number. This is my current year FY21, current month June. This is the number. When I run this rule, this is my sample rule, which I'm going to write. When I run this rule, uh, my current year, current fund number gets copied to next year plan numbers, which is 220. Do you see that? The number get copied from here, it copies to here. Now let's write the rule for the same. In this example, I'll be using a simple you know, value and then on top of this, I apply a trend, okay? So let me create a sample variable, uh, a rule, right? So in this example, we are using a couple of variable values, current year, current month, these are substitution variable. I'll make a note of this variable. I need current year, current month, and next year. So uh, you know, it takes a little time to populate. I'll search for those variable value. Let me open the notepad and put the value of this variable over here. Uh, this taking time uh, yeah so I start with current year curve here this is my variable and the value of this variable is f at 21 right and then I have a current month I can use current month which is June this value current year current month value this value gets copied to my next year <coughs> So let's write a rule for the same. I'm going to write a new rule from system view. Let's create a new rule. Step one, right click, create rule. And name some, you know, so this is a rule for trend, a current year rule, current year, current month, actual. Current year, current month, actual. Expression is very simple because I already created a smart view. So this intersection I'll take OFS calculated and plan. This intersection I take. This is my output. I prefer to use our edit script. You can use a GUI as well. So with this intersection, data is to be loaded. Okay, so you, know, you can use a constant or you can use a variable. It's up to you. Right. Put in double quotes. Or you can precisely say OFS calculated. This is your output. And your input is current year, current month load actual. Current year, current month load actual. So this is the variable name. I use variable name rather than using constant. 
which is my current year campus on current year intersection with with actual intersection with load intersection with current month campus on current month right this value i like to copy into calculate it isn't it but here's a twist I want this value to be calculated only when the condition is true. What is my trend condition? If OFS trend with the intersection of beginning balance is a current period actual, right? Current period actual, which is a smart list, and the value of the smart list is two, one and two. This is a smart list. I use OFS trend intersection with beginning balance. So if OFS trend intersection with beginning balance equals values two. Right, comparison. Comparison two means current period actual. And then I apply you know, and if and the whole expression is to be calculated for OFS calculator. So I put this in a parenthesis, you know, uh, I mean in a you know expression. I create a block under this, uh, the calculation will take place. Let's validate this code. Make sure your parenthesis are balanced. I will probably have an error, but we will look into that error if we have any. So we have an error found duplicate alias. Yeah, duplicate alias, it means uh, I prefer to use a variable member name, OFS actual, actual and load. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to use a uh, no alias OFS load rather than using load I use OFS load and actual also use an alias name to real name OEP actual save and validate again current year cannot be found ampersand no ampersand is missing uh, so those you know human errors are possible Therefore you always validate the code Now next I would like to apply this code would work But uh, if I run this right away, it will take a lot of time right because your cube is quite huge Right now your cube has got over a trillion blocks. Look at this potential of blocks is very huge So I suppose to apply certain I should use certain fixed expression Isn't it? Let me apply. I'm running this for OEV plan and actual I apply first fixed expression for certain products, certain year for the sake of testing for plan and OEP actual and uh, plan actual and working version and fix here. Then I apply another fixed expression. Let me do an indentation for better readability. Then I want to use another fixed expression for current year, current prod, I mean product and scenario and you know this is my entity. Apply another fixed expression for specific entity. It'll you know make sure my code will process quite fast. At least I can test it before I you know hop on to production instance or migrate to production product or maybe a specific product and a specific entity. Fixed entity and fixed product. Yeah, looks good. Fix. Let's validate this. Test and validate. And I run this code. Then I on top of this apply. So we have an error. Let's say line one. Fixed expression. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, it, the double quotes are missing. This is good. So, perfect. Now let's deploy this code and I'll change the number. I change the number over here. So current year, current month number, I give 112. This number is supposed to be copy from current year to next year plan. Isn't it? Current year to next year plan. Let me run this code. The code is getting run. I check the output over here. 
112 perfectly this is absolutely fine but on top of 10 i also like to apply certain adjustment right this is my adjustment value so i use an adjustment value uh adjustment of this i multiply increase and decrease with the intersection of beginning balance isn't it so i further multiply this and then after i apply plan i can do further adjustment on top of that just add one up and one more line isn't it save and validate okay cannot be found ofs oh they're supposed to be in double quotes tiny mistake make sure you put in a double quotes so those issues are possible after i put in a double quotes i can validate once again and test it so save and validate the next step i just put a double quotes over here I copy yes i copy the entire one looks good make sure your parents is a balance opening and closing yeah double save and validate once again okay we have an error that unexpected end of expression end of expression uh, opening closing Make sure your parents are balanced. It looks like they are balanced. I see there's one extra parenthesis. Let's save and validate this now. Once again, I'm going to deploy and test it. Perfectly fine. Let me change the number and test it again. So now I change current here, current one value is 220. And then I do an adjustment of, submit this number of 10%, right? 10% adjustment. So 220 plus 10%, 200. Now the value over here is 220, right? And then 10% on top of that. So plus uh, multiply one plus ten percent. The expect output is two forty two. Let's run this code and test the output. Refresh two hundred and twenty. No, that's not correct. Something wrong. Uh, oops. The rule ran successfully. Uh, I suppose deploy this once again. Okay, did I submit a new number? Let me double check. Uh, this 10% is not being applied. Maybe I did not submit this. This is a possible reason. I rerun this code. Test it again. 242 excellent i did not save the number i, I input the uh, adjustment number i did not hit the submit button therefore it was not coming correct so the final number is current year current month current year current month plus right the adjustment value is 10 percent because i use current year current period actual adjustment of 10 percent so i'll say 10 percent 1.10 242 is an expert output so that's it for today. This is how we customize a financial module, uh, enterprise planning financial module. Uh, for any advanced rule writing, training, and consulting opportunities, please feel free to write to us, bispsolutions.com. Thank you.